you're in the architecture profession and you wanna create some amazing TikToks, some reels, or some YouTube shorts. Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can do that using Twinmotion. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And today we will break down all of the settings and all of the presets you need to know to make Twinmotion your best friend for social media. Now let's turn around to this screen and get started with today's tutorial. So today we're gonna to start with our 3D rendered still images and show you exactly how to convert them into TikToks, Reels, or even YouTube Shorts. We have the ArcCAD model open up from the actual live project and we've also got it open in twin motion. We're gonna start with some of our material add-ons. So we're gonna work through the marble, the timber, and the floor tiles, and slowly put all the materials on that we like. This process doesn't really matter, it's completely up to you guys. So what I'm gonna do is skip ahead and convert all of these materials into twin motion or mega scans materials. Okay, now that we have all of our materials placed into Twin Motion, next is start to add a little bit of furniture to give it a bit of life. Personally, for me, I jump into Sketchfab and use all of the furniture from here rather than using Twin Motion's accessories because they just aren't as good. So now that we've added all of our furniture back into this plan, now we're going to do a little bit of a lighting overlay just to include some lights so it isn't as flat and as boring as it typically is in Twin Motion. Now that we have our lighting completed, it's time to move on to the most essential feature, and it is setting up the camera angle and the video angle for your TikToks, Reels, or Shorts. So if we come down to our media down the bottom, hit that video icon, tap Create Video, it's gonna take you to media mode. What we wanna do then is come back out into our video, go to More, go to Format, and change this format. So let's export it to 4K, and what we need to do is invert it the other way around. So we're gonna flip those two numbers around and it's automatically gonna take it into a portrait shot. Now, obviously that is an ugly shot. and We don't wanna use that. We wanna then once again go into the actual video, press on more, go to our camera settings and adjust our focal length. For me personally, I like a 50 millimeter focal length because it's quite a natural focal length. We can go even more compressed to 100 millimeters if you really wanna zoom in on the bits and pieces that you like. But for this, let's drop back down to a 50 millimeter. Let's remove our vignetting. Let's remove our lens flare. And let's keep these two settings off. Next, we wanna come back into our video, go back into more, and we wanna come into our lighting. Personally, I like to go into exposure and turn auto exposure off. So I have full control of how I want this scene to look. For me personally, I like it about two, two and a half, maybe even three on this. So it's a nice, dark, moody scene as we're talking about this wine and this kitchen in the morning sun. I also like to increase my ambient light up to one just so all the colors come out crystal clear. And if you wanna play with your white balance as well, you can. So personally, 6.2 is a nice cool tone. 7.2 works for this environment because we have a lot of timber going on. Last but not least, you wanna come into your more settings again, go into render, turn on path trace, turn on GI and adjust your shadows if you have those options available to you. Obviously I'm on a Mac, so I don't have path tracing available on this computer to showcase the full potential of twin motion, but it is enough to get us across the line to start working with reels, TikToks and shorts. If you don't wanna do any post-production color grading, what you can also do is come back into your video, go to the more setting, go to camera, and then go into your visual effects. We wanna to go to our color gradient and we can adjust our contrast up and down here as well as our saturation. So if you want this export to look slightly different from everybody else's, just play with these until you're comfortable with the actual outlook. You also have some presets available to you in Twinmotion. I personally don't like any of these. I personally don't use any of them, but I do adjust the contrast and the saturation to suit what I'm trying to create. And for whatever reason, if you wanna create some cool filters and effects, you can jump into filters, Go to the type and adjust it to how you see fit. Maybe you want a cartoon sketch and then transition into a realistic render. You can do that so easily in Twin Motion. So now let's put a couple of these clips together, stitch them together, export them, and show you guys the results. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you check out the playlist the side of me. If you loved it, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below as well as the like button for the YouTube algorithm. But like always, I'll see you next Monday.